Yeah, I'm just, I uh, think, uh, quite a normal guy, uh, a normal, typical uh, French guy. Almost every day from nine to, to three or four, this will be focused on the training, but the rest of the day I try to also split my day, split my time to live as normal as, as possible. I really feel stronger and happier also on the bike. I'm doing my training 100%, but I can also manage to have some time to not think about the bike. Here it's more from Beaujolais. And then here it's all from um, here, in Auvergne. But the, the only problem is that as I build it myself, it's not super hermetic, so I have also a column in another room for my best uh, bottle. Because it can vary. Now it's 12, so it's pretty good. But it can go down to 6 degrees over uh, during the winter. It's really a fan who gave me this from a whole chain and just put uh, some gearing and they made this nice piece to open the beer. For me, I really like the routine when I'm home. Uh, we woke up around 7, we have a breakfast, I get changed and I bring uh, Angus to the daycare and cycling kit, so it's a bit surprising for some, but yeah, it's just normal, I just go to work. then. I come back here, I go straight on the bike for four to six hours. I come back and can relax a bit. Uh, and uh, at 4.30, I have to pick him up again and we spend the evening together. So it's, uh, it's pretty cool, actually. Is it my side? No. The cask. The cask with all the autocollants that were in the United States. It's like that. J'ai mis 10 minutes à mettre le gant l'autre fois, hein. j'espère que c'est le plus rapide cette fois-là. Attention, monsieur Fais pas froid, tu veux une veste ou pas Non. En vélo. 3, 2, 1, partez Allez, on les fesses The difficult thing sometimes when you are away for such a long time, when you combine sometimes multiple uh, week of training camp and then some racing, it's just you sometimes it takes also a few days to find yourself again at home. When you are in the racing and training camp, it's pretty straightforward. You have a lot of uh, hours and you have to stick to some kind of plans. But also the, the good thing about uh, our job is when we are home, we, we are home and we can organize ourselves the way we want. It's nice to focus on the tour this year. I know it's also it's probably the hardest challenge to take on because yeah, we know how how hard it is and how high is the level. But I know also uh, I've reached some. I think I went already further than than expected uh, when I started cycling in the Tour de France. It's always a re renewal. You always want to come there and do something something special. Thank you. Maybe not too much, I don't want to get drop on the way up the hill. <laughs> Half full? Yeah, that's all good. Thanks. Yeah, that's alright. Saving all the weight I can. We'll add up after the three weeks. <laughs> For me, the, the goal would be yeah, to really go there and do something special. In the way we, we showed ourselves also as a team, in the way we can impact the race. It's crazy on that race, there is more than 180 riders at the start, but how many guys in the end on the Champs-Élysées can say, yeah, I've really been showing myself on the tour, maybe 15, 20 guys are happy, maybe 20, yeah. What I personally expect is that really find a way, and I'm sure we can with the team, because we know there are guys also who are stronger than us, and it's true, and we don't have to, because we, we will always stand on the start line and say, that, yeah, we want to, you know, we are full of ambition and stuff, but how we can be also smart in a way to maybe rank a bit higher than, 
than the data and the paper suggests, you know. And I know with the way we, we race in this team, with the mentality we have, we can do something special, you know. So first we have to make sure, and uh, this is the process we are through at the moment, to really build slowly uh, but surely over the first part of the season. And then I will hone green light on the physical side on the start in July in the Pays Basque. But I know we'll need something extra at some point during the race to go for this super high result. Even my best ever data won't be enough, so we'll, have, we'll need something extra. So it will be about coaching, about some tactics, some decisions. And I know in this team we are, we are good at it. We can risk something, we can really go deep for it, have fun on the bike and try to achieve more than we are supposed to do. My mom, she knows how hard it is and she always wants to also preserve me. Like, like my dad, but my dad has more this passion from the a cycling enthusiast person. And so it's always been the balance. So I never felt a single season, a single second that I have to succeed in cycling to prove some, something to them. Or I've been pretty lucky uh, during, the, during my career to have quite a few stages, not only in Tour de France, but also in Paris or Dauphiné where we were really close or even on the road so where I grew up and where I first ride my bike. So, But this year, now that I'm living here for 15 years, that I'm living now in Clermont-Ferrand, so to have the finish on Pit Dom, with this iconic mountains that were always there stand out in front of me, in front of us. For sure it's something that I didn't expect it and for sure it will uh, it will last forever because when we will reflect on it in 10 or 15 years, we'll say, okay, there has been the true one year here and I was hopefully in this bunch. From almost wherever you are in the city, you can see the, this, uh, this volcano and uh, yeah, it becomes quite a challenge. We used to, to test our fitness uh, while uh, running up there. I took part in the last uh, event when I was 16. It was my first year as a junior. There is a kind of Grand Fondo event, who finished on top, that I rode with my dad. And on that day, I, uh, I won the small, uh, small loop, it was 120K. And so it was one of the last time uh, cyclists could really ride on a competition, uh, the Pit Dome. So it's pretty nice uh, also memory. We try to find some ways to sometimes uh, climbing it, uh, whether on the road or mostly also on the trail. It's the, the icon of the region. I think we are really here in the, this last part, in the last uh, moment where people will be allowed to, to stand. They plan to put uh, a big screen, I think here, or maybe a bit further back here, so the people can, can see the race because there, is, there will be no space on the side of the road uh, on the last 4K to, for the public to watch from the side. To be honest, also the way it is in the tour this year, it will be, uh, there will be no hiding because it's the end of the first week. We know how messy can be a uh, first week and it's also to it be a first uh, proper climbing test. So I think, um, honestly, this is my prediction. Huh? It's one of the most difficult climb on this year to the France one and top finish. So I could bet that the winner in the Pied Dome will be the same in the Tour de France this year. This is my bet.